So, what you doing? With some groove right there, grooving it up. Poo! Dave, what are you playing? What is? What are those things? They're called a drum set, and they originated a long time ago. Of course, every culture has some sort of percussive thing, but the drum kit really came back to came together in New Orleans at the beginning of jazz, at the area after the era of Betty Boulder kicked in, and all the guys who were playing marching drums and all kinds of stuff. Somebody figured out to put it all together with pedals and bazzis and ding ding. And there's a bass drum. That's the mama drum. The mama drum is the most important drum on the drum set. Mama drum sounds like this. Mama. mama there's a papa drum on this one here too, like a papa drum. It's right here. It's called a snare drum. And the snare drum has buzzy fizzy thing wires on the bottom. If you look at it, let me see if I can lift this thing up. On the bottom, you'll see the wires right here. And those wires sympathetically vibrate <laughs> with everything on the drum set, meaning they, they feel everything like you do. Feeling. And they like to go, they like to go busy, buzzy, fuzzy, wuzzy. And so sometimes when they're off, nothing. When they're on, yeah. the mama and papa together. When they're together, Now right over here is called a hi-hat symbol, also known as a sock symbol, because it is played with a pedal that's used by your sock foot. Let me! Now, you put the hi hat snare and the bass drum together and you play a beat like this. Oh. Yeah. Then things happen, and then there's a tom tom. Those were originally were Chinese uh, drums, like look, look, those tack toms, those ornate tack toms that are about this thick, where they're usually red with lots of beautiful paintings and dragons and things on them. Now this body's called a floor tom because he's got legs on it and what? holds it up on the floor. It's over here. Now these are called symbols. This one's called a ride symbol. Ah, uh, Jimmy Jazz, yeah. This one has rivets in it, little rivets in it, so it sizzles like the snare drum sizzles. Watch, I can touch with my hand, it'll sizzle. Wow. Hot. Cowbells. No. No. That's right, I'm calling you in for milk and cows. Mm -hmm. And wood blocks. Hello? Anybody home? No one home. It's so called a drum set. What? Ooh. Shalil Shazam! <laughs> you're, I'm, I'm, I'm sweating just watching that. So you're using your hands and your feet at the same time? Whoa. Correct. Oh. That's called interdependence. What are those things you're holding? These are called drumsticks. Drumsticks. And they come in various different sizes. And these ones are this size and they have, they're kind of comfy. Comfy. For me. And uh, yeah, you can play with them forward. You have these little tips here for making like little tippy 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 sounds. And you can play the end and make them a little, 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 little thicker. Yeah. Drumming is dancing on pedals. Yeah, dancing. And if you're dancing and you're feeling good, you know those times when you're feeling good dancing? <laughs> what? What is rhythm well rhythm is the a beat is the is the tempo the beat is the tempo that you count out you know when somebody goes at the top of the song they go one two three whoa here we go that's a beat and that beat runs invisibly through the whole song it makes you want to tap your foot tap boom and the rhythm could be something else that sits on top of that so maybe it's a little more stu do a tap a tap do dee do That's the that's what I call a rhythm is on top of the beat. If you think of if you think the beat like a clothesline, a really tight clothesline, and then the rhythm 
and is all the things on the clothesline on a windy day blowing around up and down all over the place. It's a beautiful picture, don't you think? Oh, yeah. And Ken, do you need to have a drum set to play drums? No. What is your favorite snack? The old standby popcorn made in the in the in the, z- the ziggity biggity bongity and uh, uh, you know like, popcorn. You know I love popcorn. This is my 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 favorite way of having it. I get really nice extra virgin olive oil. I I I say a happy thought while I cover it in a big circularly swirly whirly. Then I take roasted uh, sesame seeds and shake it on there. And then uh, and then uh, nutritional yeast. And then shake it around. It's fun to chew. Chewing is very rhythmic. Oh, yeah. Bam, bam.